What a beautiful day. So, I hope you all had a lovely Christmas, a lovely new year, and uh, you didn't get too drunk, but you ate loads of food. So, I'm off down to the ocean today. You know, after making that last vlog, the one with Cross the Workout, I just I honestly had so much fun making it, and I wanted to uh, make one again, like pretty much straight away. So, feck it, I'm gonna make one right now. And I was kind of thinking of ways to make it educational, cool, fun, entertaining. And I came up with how to optimize training. Any sport, this should work for you. I think I just said how to optimize training for any sport. I would say how to optimize recovery for any sport. My sport is CrossFit. Last night I did two hours of training, one hour of a heavy Olympic lift and one hour of conditioning. So it's safe to say that this morning I'm sore. That is why I'm gonna show you how to optimize recovery for any sport. Oh my God, it's such a nice day. But pretty much, is I've been following this guy called Wim Hof. I'll put up a little thing about Wim Hof on the screen now. But Wim Hof is this crazy guy named, nicknamed Iceman. And uh, oh, I'll explain it pretty much. We're going to the sea now. And when we're there, I'll explain how to optimize recovery. What it comes down to is this thing called cold exposure. And what it is is you pair a breathing technique cold exposure. Even and myself are taking a Wim Hof course because my dad is a top instructor for him. And there'll be a vlog explaining it all. This is just my version of it. And pretty much what it is, is just ice bath with a breathing technique. Well, I'm not going to be able to stay in for long because I haven't done this in a while, but fuck it. I'll give it a go. But I really don't want to get out of the dry robe. So yeah, I'm going to get in now. And I'm like really dreading this. Oh my god. Ah, oh, fuck. Cold water is really good for reducing inflammation and allowing new blood flow. It really just flushes out lactic acid. Because um, last night I did have a big training session, so. And also, you get the best feeling after it. Like, you feel so refreshed and like ready to go, so. Quick thing to add to that. Although you can do things like ice bath, you can do like massage, do all these sorts of stretching and stuff. I think a massive part of recovery is your diet. Eating, eating foods that combat inflammation and all that sort of stuff, so. Okay, so I'm back now and this next part of the vlog I'm really, really excited to show you about. It's this thing that I got over Christmas called a kite board. A series that I kind of want to do, learning to kite board and if anyone else wants, because I've literally never done it figure it out and like show it through this but we're at British now because we're gonna take some photos of uh, some stuff that you'll see on my Instagram so all right so walk back to the car and show you the kite board okay so I'm back in my house now and it is time to reveal my Prezi kite board so you ready three two one times board inside a um, little backstory behind this whole thing a friend of mine called James my cousin actually runs a really really cool um, holiday retreat like log cabins luxury log cabins and I'll put his Instagram here um, you should go def check this out this is all from him so board number helmet that doesn't fit my head harness pump chest harness it's the tube for the pump. Most important part of all, bar that connects you to the kite. Kite, plus instructions. That might come in handy. And the most important part of all, ping pong bats. No, I'm just joking. Dad uh, just came in the bag with some, I don't even know why they're in there, but might be fun to play with. you like, kind of tempted to just like, Roll the kite out and see how big it is. See how it turns out. Excuse my house, I'm doing the lawn. All right, it's safe to say this kite is actually fucking massive, like. And I'm getting a few lessons with it, so I just didn't want to kill myself. That's the main part of it. However, this is gonna be really fun. 
Oh, I'm so excited. <laughs> Oh, and quickly, I just want to say, um, plenty of sailing, I've raced both, I've never done kiteboarding, and two, uh, never really flown a kite before, like maybe once or twice when I was a kid, this is like a real step up, but I'm like really excited to try it, so <laughs> I'll give it a go. Um, that was probably definitely the wrong way to roll it up, um, so if anyone is a kiteboarder who's watching this, go easy on me, and just send me a text on my Instagram, j.bullman. And uh, yeah, cheers. Okay, so we did max back squats. The max back squat got to 115. What did you get to, Rob? Uh, 105, but I fucking bitched out on the uh, max reps. <laughs> yeah, and then you had to do 80 percent, 85 percent max max reps. So I don't know. I got like five or with 97. So happy enough with that. I think my camera's actually about to die now, but thank you all for watching that vlog. Jesus Christ, that's bright. Thank you all for watching that vlog, I really appreciate it. And there'll be much more on the way, but that's it for now, so thank you very much.